Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Julie. Um, I'm going to share with you today how to make, um, what's it called? Silhouette uh, Bow Box um, by uh, Tonic. Um, here's the die set. I've left that one out on purpose. Um, and I, I'll explain to you a couple about a couple of these dies. Um, you've got two dies which are similar on here. So you've got those two there. Now I've got um, one piece of paper. Will that work? You can see my cutting out. <laughs> Cover it over. So you've got two the same. So you've got two with two little um, glue tabs and one with just one on. This one here makes the wrap for your box to go around the outside. This one here is for your lid. So you've got a glue tab and then a little bit that goes into the front to hold the box in. Okay, I, I thought I'd just show you those two because that they're very similar. Um, what else is it? Oh, I don't know. And when I first made my first one of these, um, I took out there's a metal layer of these, and I thought I had to use that one to make. Um, to make your aperture to put your little piece in but um, you don't you use this one because my aperture my little piece that your insert piece it all fell through I thought oh well that's not how it's supposed to go <laughs> so I thought I'd just explain that as well so you get you get um, two sizes of those just don't know if there's any more um, Uh, and then I'll go through with what I've done. So I've cut out and I've cut two. I've cut two of these and I've put my aperture in uh, with this one, as you can see. I've cut out one of these and I've cut into that. So I like to cut into that, but before you put this in, I would suggest um, you do your crease lines in it as well because, um, you know, fold your crease lines, just fold them and then put them out flat because sometimes when you put them through your die cutting machine, it makes them go even flat and you can't see the crease lines if you don't fold them first so that's what I suggest you do um, so you need two of those, one of those um, two pieces of these and I've already cut some detail in so they would be um, plain before you put these little dots in um, two of those of them and I think the other one's on the floor. I'll, I'll see if I can find it. Make sure the dog's not there. Yeah there it is. Um, one of those is a little square and I've matched the um, detail on there. Excuse me. Right and that's my other bow piece there. Okay. And that's that piece where I was um, saying about the lid. So you can see where I folded it. Creased them up and folded. Okay. Right, let's get going. Get all these pieces out of the way. Oh. What was I going to say? Oh, hold on. Now you will need four of these which is um, that one I showed you 
then you just stick them together. Alright, so you've got your blue tabs there and there are um, detailed eyes you can put in, so I've chosen this one. So that goes in there, like that. And the same again, make sure you fold your score lines before you put your detail in, because sometimes that score line will um, disappear. It just um, reinforces it, so it's not so um, hard to try and find when you put it through your machine. And I've also um, taken this one and cut in again. And I use, um, I like to use this to get it central. No, oh, no, I don't. What am I talking about? I did use something to get it central. I'm sure I did. Perhaps I used this actually. I did. I used that to get it central, but so I use, and then I leave it in there, tape it down to my cardstock, and then take that one away, and then you get it central. All right. It stops all the guesswork, doesn't it? Trying to get it in the right place where you want it to be. So before I do one on top of the other, you just turn it around. So you're ending up with two the same, so you just turn it around and then you're going to glue one on top of there. But, I'm going to put this in, but I've got to make sure I've got my words in the right place. Otherwise, I'd, otherwise they're going to be screwed with. So, I'm going to... I'm going to try with a little bit of glue. I was just going to say where's my glasses and they're on top of my head. This. Oh. It's really hot here today in the UK. I don't know where you'll be watching me from but oh. And I know some of you have had really bad weather. So you need to um, be lining it up. So is this a, this is an octagon, isn't it? Please correct me if I'm wrong. Sorry if you can't see, I'm only putting glue on the glue tabs. I'm just smoothing it out with my finger so it doesn't take too long to, to dry. So I'm just pushing it in and then I'll take it round to the front to see if I've got it in the right place. That one just needs to go in a little bit more. Let's have a look. Yeah, it needs to come up. I think that I've got a little bit of glue there. I'm just going to rub that off. that's got any glue on. Did 
just checking to see whether that'll go over the top. This is what I find, um, I can't, because um, it's a bit fiddly, my fingers are a bit um, wonky, shall I say, um, I find it a bit difficult to get my fingers I'm going to put, I'm going to put it that way, so I've got a nice, um, so I've got a nice bit there, sorry because that'll probably be at the front, wouldn't it? Because if I had it the other way round, you would have you would have that bit showing, so I'm gonna put it that way. I'm just gonna put some glue on this bit here. Make sure you don't go over your score lines. Anybody been not watching lots of sport? Been watching um, the Tour de France on the TV. Oh, and we've got golf in the, in my part of the world as well this weekend. Um, there's loads of sport going on at the moment, isn't there? I've got that one coming out a little bit now, so never mind. So all we're doing now is just gluing these glue tabs. I think once you've made one, I think um, you'll be all right. Oh, and I must say, um, they've um, got the instructions inside as well, because I know a lot of people like written ones. Some people like watching the video. Right, that's that done. Now, I must have a, I've got to have a quick look at that. Oh, there goes the dies off. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I'm going to turn that around now because... You don't want your lid to be um, coming this way. Over there like that. Because it won't shut. Oh, I think that was the reason why you want your lid so it's coming this way okay so that with the um, chamfered edges that's going that's your glue tab So now that is going to fit in there. Ooh, it should do. I'm 
That's all my dies falling off on my packet. And I can't put it on, um, I've got one of those, um, you know, I've got it. And I did use it. But because I'm filming, and I've used the dies now, um, I like to have them on the packet. <laughs> but I've got a magnetic um, stand as well, so that I go like that. Oh. <laughs> Let's, um, <laughs> this um, everything's coming off. Let's just put them back on. Should put them inside inside the um, magnetic stand, shouldn't I? So that's the box done. Um, so you have uh, that cut in into your box. Um, then what I've done with these, these would be like a plain square, won't they? And then you cut your detail into each one, and then you glue like four together. So and then I've put that thank. In there, so then when that goes over, that go over your cube. Like that, and then you'll have a thank you on it, okay? Right, and now we come to this bit. You get two, no you don't, you get one die, but you need two. So we're going to put these together, and I've already put the detail in, as you can see. And I've already creased where I want them to go. This piece here is a glue tab, so it's going to go like that. With the glue. And I like. As I'm going along, as I'm cutting out, um, I'll get the pieces and I think, and I'm going to myself, oh yeah, this piece goes there, and this piece goes there. And I put it together without gluing it, and just hold it. Does it sound silly? Do you do that when you're doing yours? Don't know. Right, so that's going to go on there. So I'm going to do that now. And then we come to this bit. So I've just got my um, pokey tool and I've just um, curled the paper around. Have I stood on that? It looks like I've stood on it. So I did have it sort of curled and it's got a, it's got a crease in it now. This is where I've stood on it on the floor. <laughs> uh, and then you've got two crease lines, one there and one there. So you're going to glue those together. check on the pictures in the on the dye packaging. I'll show you those actually. So now we've got those. It's really easy isn't it? Don't you no. well me being me oh no I decide I'm gonna put in a, um, a shaker. I don't know what it is I keep wanting to do shakers. Uh, yeah done that bit done that bit So this goes on here. Like that. Then that I sit on top. Put 
just putting some glue on, not too much. Otherwise, the rabbit will come through the yard, uh, be squirting out through the holes. Big fat fingers in the way, you can't see nothing, can you? Right, and then you can put these bits underneath as well. Like so. So now I am going to put this on here. If you do put another one on the other side, I'll sh and I have got another box to show you. Now I can't get this on now. Oh, bit of craft card where I've been um, playing with the loaded pockets. So that's going to go on there. I think I'm going to put the glue on that on this bit. My other bits over the other side of the table. That's it. I like it, but it's a nice um, actually, I think I wonder if I could. No. I'm going to slide that one out a little bit more then. That's it. You could have those meeting in the middle if you wanted. I think that's what I've done with my, I can't remember. So you could have that as short or as, you know, perhaps I won't do it like that because, um, the lid's going to go down. So where you stuck those two pieces together, that's just going to go on top. Could put gems on there, couldn't you? Could put anything on. Could put flowers on. No, I have done it now. What's that on my puppy tool? Hot glue. <laughs> I like it how um how you got um three bits to take off of this box or two bits to take off there one box done do you know the worst part of doing a video is like all the prep work and how much prep to do and um, I hope that helps um, and I didn't do too much so that you couldn't see what you wanted to know but that is that finish that looks quite pretty doesn't it um, aha. that's the other one I've done let me have a look at that bow oh yeah I did make it shorter on there 
So that's the other one, but I did do two sides and I've got shakers. So I did put acetate on the back of there and inside. So instead of having one like this, I might I'll put acetate there. So it depends how you want to, um, how far you want to take it, really. But they do look nice. I haven't tried all the different detail dies, but I've only made two. Because then I get, what, well, I get involved with something else, and I'm, I'm doing a lot of um, loaded pockets and and different ideas for loaded pockets as well. Oh, and then, mm, and then there's like Christmas and Halloween so you sort of, I'm going to put that on later, so you sort of, you sort of go from one thing to the other, especially this time of year don't you, because, well, I don't know about you, and like I said, did I, I think I said last time, um, this time of year I usually do like my Christmas cards, I know it's baking hot but um, I usually do those then, look well now, because later on in the year I have a lot of birthdays and, and to, to be doing like birthday cards and then um, just gone with my hand that way um, birthday cards and and Christmas cards it would be too much I wouldn't be able to do it and um, it sometimes it takes me a couple of days to be doing it you know to be wanting to be able to craft um, all depends how I'm feeling how my body's feeling <laughs> there you go that's just me anyway i hope that helps and i'll, I'll see you again really soon bye bye for now